yes. So with genital numbness, that is something that as a man you might not be aware of if that is something that you haven't thought of. And um, numbness can come from different things. A very, very common way that this has happened for men is because of the way that you have treated your penis, treated your genitals, your cock. And um, if you have, you know, grown up on a, on a diet of, of porn and masturbation with porn, it's very likely that you've approached that with the orgasm focus. And when you always masturbate to reach an orgasm, you kind of, you, you goal oriented. So you're heading for the goal for that climax that, you know, that relief and the sensation of the orgasm that you become used to and that you, you attracted and drawn to. But when you're working only towards, when you're masturbating and touching and self-pleasuring yourself only in order to, or primarily in order to ejaculate an orgasm, then what happens is that you're numbing down all the other sensations and your ability to perceive the pleasures and the, especially the subtle pleasures along the way. And the way a lot of men have done it is that you've developed a certain way that you masturbate and you pretty much do it the same way every time and within the same kind of time frame maybe as well. And uh, if you're a little bit, you know, like a lot of men are a bit heavy handed the way you do that. And, uh, and this is to the point that, you know, some men, they, they, for instance, can't have an orgasm if a woman, you know, goes down on him or touches him because he's so used to his own way of touching himself. So that might be hard and fast and in a certain way that you do it. And if you've been doing that with porn, where you are projecting your attention towards, you know, the porn stars on the screen, and in that way you're disconnecting from what's really going on with you. So you're not really with yourself, but you're somehow projecting your energy and your awareness onto the screen. And the only thing that is, you know, the, the, the goal is the orgasm. The death grip, exactly. Yeah, the death grip um, in the long run will, or maybe not even long run, it will pretty quickly start to numb down your ability to feel the subtle sensations. And um, yeah, so this is something that's also, in a way, I f it's very, very sad, I find it also, because many men have disconnected from their genitals. And that is also part from part of the conditioning we grown up with, religious conditioning perhaps, you know, other kind of experiences of, of trauma or shame in, in childhood. And somehow you've disconnected and there's also a build up of of tension and and emotions in your genitals. And a woman can feel this if she's making love with you. You can feel the tension when a man is penetrating you and his his penis is tense and it's got like emotions in there and you can't really connect it's like he's using a tool that's maybe made out of some other material you know not flesh not living a living human but it feels like it's just using a tool and that's what happens when you've been numbing yourself down through repetitive masturbation with the death grip and uh, doing that with porn over and over and over again. And uh, someone was asking the other day also, like, how can I enjoy masturbation without ejaculation? So that sounds to me that that's what's happening for this person, that they become so focused on the orgasm that nothing else seems like pleasurable enough. And if we're looking at, you know, the science and how many nerve endings you have in your penis, it's it's enormous so there's no lack of sensitivity there 
but we can numb the natural sensitivity down if we do certain things in a repetitive way, in a heavy-handed way with your own body. And um, yeah, so that's one side of the of the picture. And then there's other men who might have an experience of being hypersensitive in the genitals, like they can hardly touch themselves without ejaculating really quickly. And that's also a similar thing, even though it's, it's uh, showing up in the kind of opposite symptoms, where there's so much um, like emotion and sensitivity involved in the arousal that it becomes too much to handle. It's like overwhelming. And that can then obviously lead to premature ejaculation, both when you're masturbating or if you're with a woman, if you're on that side of the spectrum of feeling that you are super hypersensitive in your genitals. So I'm not sure what's more common, but I'd be totally happy for you guys if you feel like sharing. That'd be awesome. You know, that's, that's up to you, but this is a safe space. And... Um, and yeah, again, so as a woman, a woman can feel when you are not really present in your genitals, but you numb yourself, yourself down and you become used to a certain programming, a certain pattern for, to reach your orgasm and climax. And what happens there is that when you penetrate with a penis that's a bit numb and tense and emotional, the genitals can't really connect. So what we can do about this? Let me see here. What can we do about this? About the numbing down and the hypersensitivity. So there's a similar way actually you can approach this. And if you're in the category of men who feel like you've probably most likely numb down your sensitivity and you're not really maybe enjoying the masturbation in itself but it's mostly about the orgasm and you have had a habit and a pattern of masturbating in a certain way always to reach orgasm and often with porn so a way to to start to pattern interrupt this you know this pattern that you've created is to Continue on with what I was starting with last week, which is starting to self-pleasure for the sake of becoming aware of all the sensations. So that means to take the goal of the orgasm out of the picture so that you, you make a decision for yourself that you're going to self-pleasure but not to reach orgasm. So you're going to stop before you reach orgasm. And what's also needed to happen here is that you, you're not distracting yourself with porn and you're really focusing on yourself when you're self-pleasuring and you're slowing down and you're finding different ways of touching yourself. So this also ties in with activating your hands, which is what we're doing on Thursdays with the, with the conscious touch. So to touch yourself in a way that you're actually really consciously touching yourself with hands that are consciously activated. And this already is probably going to be something kind of unusual and unfamiliar if you haven't done this before. And it's a pure act of self-love to start to connect with yourself in this way rather than treating your body as, as a tool for, you know, the means to an end which has led to the disconnection, the emotional build-up, and the desensitization, the numbness. So a way back is to take the orgasm out of the picture. Forget about orgasm. Sometimes you will ejaculate, for sure, but start to make it a practice for yourself where you are self-pleasuring in a different way. And that means with more sensitivity, slowing down, touching your whole penis and balls and groin and belly and make it into a session where you explore and just connect with yourself. And what's also important here is to energetically 
connect with your genitals and that's kind of like really befriending your body really starting to inhabit and start to really work with your penis as the extension of who you are as a man to really allow yourself to shine through to shine through your penis to come through like with your radiance with your charisma with your beauty with your life force allow yourself to radiate through your genitals and that can be done without even touching yourself just through the awareness and the breathing and you can you can talk to your penis if you want you can have a conversation because especially if you have been treating your body in a rough way for a long time you know and penises are incredibly intelligent this is why they're not always performing the way you might want it to perform because they are wise. They know if they are being pushed into something that isn't aligned with what's really good for you, for example. If you're trying to have sex in a situation where you don't actually maybe want to and you're not getting an erection, that is very possibly a sign of the intelligence of your penis that's saying that it's not really a priority for you right now. And if you've been forcing yourself, trying to force erections, for example, if erectile challenges is something that you've experienced, that's even more violence towards your own body and further serves to disconnect you from this glorious part of who you are as a man. So the journey back is about connection. And a lot of you have mentioned connection. I had a quick look at the poll the poll we did yesterday and connection is leading as the as the most important aspect of of love making and intimacy for you guys or at least the ones that have answered so far so it's all about connecting with yourself first and if this is something you haven't been used to do then there'll be a little journey and you can approach that in little ways by like I said, self-pleasure without reaching orgasm and without, without porn, with, in a gentle and loving way, touching yourself. So find different ways. Stay away from the way you normally do it and find different ways of touching yourself that is not focused on trying to climax past, but it's just focused on connecting with yourself and discovering the full range of your sensitivity the subtle pleasures and something that can be really in a way the most effective with this as well is to just hold your penis just hold it so here you would activate your hands so that you're really touching yourself with conscious touch and really holding your genitals holding and connecting holding still and really allow yourself to connect with your own genitals and if you've had trauma if you've had negative experiences if you've had erectile issues or premature ejaculation or any other kind of negative experience in regards to your body and your sexuality the healing touch is one of the first and best approaches you can use to start to unwind these past experiences and the way that they have influenced your connection with your own body so totally pattern interrupting what you've done previously and if you're still going ahead and masturbating you know furiously with porn and trying to do this practice it's going to be less successful so I really encourage you to choose a practice like what I'm describing for for a longer period of time for a stretch of time to really notice what changes so you can really see and feel for yourself the shift and let us know what you're discovering so this is about bringing back that aliveness and the ability to feel the subtle sensations that you lost when you treated your genitals in a rough way in a disconnected way 
or when you're carrying where you're carrying you know negative experiences from the past maybe from childhood maybe from circumcision who knows and like this when you are making love with your woman you will be able to feel so much more you'll be able to start to enjoy just being still inside her and what happens when you're starting to awaken your penis and you are entering a woman from that place of being present and relaxed and not carrying tension and emotions and stress and anxiety and worry in your penis then your genitals can start to connect by themselves without any help from us and there's amazing stories of what the gen genitals can do when you put them together in this way without trying to push in and out without trying to make anything happen just putting the genitals together and staying still what will happen is that if you haven't had an erection your erection will very likely come because you're not trying to push it or force it and it can start to even kind of twirl on its own and make its way further and deeper into the woman's vagina and this is without you trying to do anything so this is when the genitals are starting to connect and it can't happen if you're going inside her with a you know erection that's tense full of of emotion and starting to pound away you can't have that subtle connection then and if you're on the other end of the spectrum and you're hypersensitive to touch and you tend to ejaculate prematurely I recommend you try the same thing so to hold your penis to practice as much as you can whenever you can you know not at work probably you know but when you're at home by yourself to hold just holding still and just really giving love and awareness give your presence connecting with your genitals you can even say something to yourself look I'm sorry that I if I've hurt you I'm sorry if I disconnected from you I want to honor you as you know and you can use your own, your own language there of course to you know what makes sense for you in a way to connect with yourself with your body with your penis and with the self-pleasure, if you're hypersensitive, it's also touching yourself, not out of the pattern to reach orgasm. Forget about orgasm and just touch yourself gently and slowly until the arousal builds to about 60%. And then you'd want to stop and pause and let it go down a bit again so that you don't tip over the edge and ejaculate. <coughs> So see if we have any questions here. Let me know guys. Oh yes. Yes, exactly. Feeling the more subtle sensations. And that comes through slow, present, still touch. Very gentle. It can be can be firm, but not hard. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. That you can be sure that there's beliefs behind behind this numbing down. Yes. Yes, so you see Eric the women they very often pick up on what's going on when you are you know always but it's especially if you're in a very close intimate situation yeah and we have that also you know with the in the mainstream with numbing creams and things like that that you know with the belief that numbing down is going to be helpful you know whereas actually not because sensitivity is a beautiful thing so if you are hypersensitive first of all honor yourself it is a beautiful thing to be sensitive you haven't lost your sensitivity and that is amazing so what you can do to learn to start to train yourself to so that you can make love without the fear of ejaculating you know straight away 
is by practicing the self-pleasure that is slow and only until you get to about 60% arousal and then pause. And if you do that regularly, you can do that a few times a day even because you might get to 60% quite quickly or maybe instantly in some cases. You know, then just hold still. Hold still and allow yourself to relax and cool down and then leave it at that or you can, you know, continue but stay around 60% arousal. Don't go past that if you've struggled with, with premature ejaculation. And like this, you're slowly building your ability to hold larger and larger amounts of aroused energy in your body. Because you're practicing this while staying relaxed and breathing deeply. So this is how we're unwinding the pattern of that ejaculation focus pattern that leads to premature ejaculation, that leads to numbness for a lot of men. So yeah, so starting to connect with your body in a way that is not using your body just as a means to reach orgasm. And this is going to completely shift your sexual experiences. Because you're bringing presence and awareness into your genitals and then they start to come alive. Because they're going numb if you're using them just, if you're using your genitals just as, sorry I need some water. If you're using your genitals just as a tool, they'll start to, it will start to close down and lose sensitivity. And it'll be just like, you know, a dead object in a way, you know. So to come back to that sensitivity, it's about completely taking the ejaculation out of the picture. doesn't mean that you won't ejaculate. Sometimes you will. Sometimes it's a good thing to do, but that doesn't need to be very often. If you're a young man, ejaculation once a week, plenty. And if you're in your 40s, maybe once a fortnight or even less. So practicing to build the arousal in a way that you're connecting with yourself you're not just using your body because it's like you it's in a way i mean it's so much talk about women being objectified but men have also been objectified male, male penises have been object, objectified you know are being objectified so much and then yeah it becomes just an object that the woman can't actually really connect with her vagina can't connect with the penis it might be huge and rock hard but there's not presence in it and then the connection doesn't happen and it's another thing i wanted to mention here too is that there's some men who are some men who have an a kind of other thing happening which is like a penis obsession like is a glorification of their genitals this is most likely the men who are sending dick, dick pics and who are uh, on the internet on the dating sites you know trying to show off the genitals and wanting women to to tell them you know tell me is it, is it good do you like it is you know is it the size good enough? Obsessing about the size. And that that is also like a sign of that there's actually not really a connection happening there with the genitals. Somewhere these men are not really in tune with their own bodies, but it's become an obsession where where they're in a way looking for the validation from from women. You know, looking to be approved. So a man who is sending dick pics and uh, wanting women to, to rate his, his penis, he's not coming from a place of the masculine. In a way, he's coming more from a place of the feminine. Wanting, wanting to be seen and approved. So if this is the case for you, If this is the case, which is there's a certain amount of population, I don't know how many percent. I read somewhere eight percent, maybe you know, but there's a fair few men out there who are obsessively sending dick pics and you know really, really 
all the all the focus goes into the size of the penis and and kind of but generally they wouldn't be the men who have amazing sex lives and amazing connection amazing real connection with women but it's kind of all a bit of a mind trip all a bit of an externalized experience of the sexuality which is so much induced by porn because that's that whole thing of living our sexuality through an image of something that is not even here and now so what we're doing here is so much about bringing your sexuality back home to yourself really home to yourself so that you're not living your life and your sex life through the means of somebody else's life some porn star's life but actually living your own best sexual experiences empowering yourself to have the best sexual experiences and sexual fulfillment you can possibly have in this lifetime and for that you don't need porn you need to connect with yourself and with your body learn how to really come alive learn how to be able to hold your arousal while staying relaxed while staying in your body and be able to share this with a woman so that she can really feel you and connect with you so I think that's enough for today these are topics that are huge obviously and could go off in any direction but I'm not going to stay here the whole day so yeah thank you so much Eric for sharing this yeah it's great I really appreciate you guys contributing here really awesome because other guys can see and also recognize and realize that so many of you are in similar situations there's so many of us who have experienced similar things so thank you so much for sharing incredibly valuable Eric and Weber really appreciate so if there's any other questions let me know otherwise I'm gonna knock off here and um, and then we have weekend so they'll be coming in big announcement tomorrow which is my Saturday so make sure you check the group tomorrow there'll be a big announcement and I'm also going to be posting a new interview tonight hopefully I get that up with one of my ex clients one of my male clients I'm doing an interview with him this evening so interesting things coming this weekend and we have the price draw on Sunday if you didn't see that post we have the price draw for uh, the member who brought in the most new members to the group this month is gonna win he is gonna win the code to lasting in bed and there's also two book prizes so if you haven't been part you still have a chance to win if you jump in and invite all your friends now okay Great, so have a beautiful day, night, eve, wherever you are, and I'll see you later. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.